Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and we're gonna be taking a look at the number one strongest Bridge Spam deck in the game right now. This deck has been around for a little bit of time right now, and is consistently one of the highest performing decks in Clash Royale. It's always on the top 200 leaderboard, it always has some of the highest win percentages in the game, and that is this Magic Archer Lumberjack Battle Ram Bridge Spam, as you can see over here. Now this deck does have a few legendaries in there. If you don't have the Magic Archer, I'd say use a Musketeer or Zappies. If you don't have the Ghost, I would say Dark Prince. If you don't have the Jack, use a Bannon or a Mini Pekka. And if you don't have the Infernal Dragon, use Minions. However, I will say the deck works best in the exact version right here. Any substitutions, the deck isn't nearly as strong. In fact, right now, it is one of the only Battle Ram at Bridge Band decks left in the meta that does pretty well. So, facing off against Mr. JP. All right, Skeletons to start. What do you got? Hog Cycle, 2 Prince Hog. Expo Cycle. What do you got, buddy? I see your skills and I wanna raise you a Bridge Bam. Sir, good luck to you as well. I appreciate it. What do you got? Now, of course, with any, with any Bridge Bam deck, you wanna wait for your opponent to use something expensive and then try and punish it, but it appears that our friend JP up there is rocking a fast cycle deck as well. He got Skillies, Zap, and Ice Bear. So I'm guessing Hog Cycle or Expo Cycle. Or uh, Miner, apparently. I'll drop there for the Miner. Miner Cycle of some sort? What could it be? We shall see. Infernal D right here. All right, Mr. JP, things are getting serious now and I don't like it. JP? Oh, the Executioner Natal Minor Control with the Valkyrie. How disgusting is that, boys? Oh, nice, going downtown. Not this? No, don't target the skellies, you nub, Infernal D. Target the tower, you nub. That's what I'm paying you for. Oh man, I should have zapped. I, I, didn't, I didn't see the skeletons. By the, time I, my, by the time my finger already let go of the zap spell, the skellies were already down. Or like, you know what I mean. Same time it happened, so we couldn't adjust our plan. Uh oh. Oh, nice blockage there, dude. I dig it. Is it enough though? Is it in? Oh, the Zaspel works. The Zaspel works. However, we do have a nasty little Eljack and a Ghost back there. Getting to the tower. Ghost doing work. And a B Ram here into the uh, Rage. Look at this. The Battle Ram and the Rage both get some stuff done. Charging up pretty quickly there. That should be a dead tower by him. He way overcommitted with a balloon push there. Yeah, you better say well played. Admire my plays, please. Extra value for my Inferno. Nice. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. You can actually have that tower, my dude. I don't care. Magic Archer right here. There we go. There we go. Probably this jazz. Balloon, please die. There we go. Oh, he nails it to his tower? He nails it to his tower? What in the world is he doing? Oh man, I feel bad for you, but not really. Good game. Mr. JP, maybe JP stands for uh, just practicing. Maybe he's just practicing. Hey, 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 hey. I'm sitting here making fun of you. Don't win now. Don't win. There we go. All right, so that's close. Uh, uh, that was close. <laughs> Good game though, Mr. JP. What a interesting deck somewhat, right? Minor, minor cycle uh, executioner control. Don't see that too often right now in the meta. Go ahead, jump into another battle against Mr. Hunter Deaths. Oh, by the way, guys, just a heads up. Later on in the video, I have an insane replay for you. Like literally insane. It is worth the wait. It is worth the watch. Make sure you stick around for that one because it is epic with this. Why more cycle? Why more cycle decks? Literally, uh, this this bridge bam, it does well versus. I mean, it does decently versus uh, expensive decks. But why so many fast cycle executioner nados? Huh? Huh? Tell me that. Nice. Hog executioner nado. How much does that suck today? We zap anything here? Oh, nasty fireball. Got this. 
Rage goes, Rage Barbarians, Tower goes. Oh man, the Knight. It hurts, dude. More damage, please, more damage. Oh, that was some spicy damage right there. Would have preferred more, though. I would have preferred a dead tower. But I mean, sometimes in life, you gotta take what you can get. And right there, we took what we got. But he's still, I mean, he's got a good chance here. For sure. Magic Arch Hair, right here. Bola. I think he says Bola, right? He says Bola. No, what does he say? What does he say, guys? What does he say? He doesn't say Bola or Shinya. No, that'd be dumb. Executioner over that lane. What in the world? Nice. Magic Archer Battle on connects. The Magic Archer will get a million damage done legitimately right there. Oh, I zapped too late. I zapped too late, dudes. That sucks. That sucks big time. I wanted the tower to retarget to the Barbarians, but we zapped too late. The Magic Archer died, and I cried myself to sleep like a big old nub. Seriously, why did I do that, dude? That sucks. Like, doesn't it suck? Nice. Misses the Magic Archer. The Magic Archer can do work right there. Oh, it does it? It connects. We have a connection, guys. We have a connection. That tower is dead for sure. All right, baby. We are locked and loaded for the three crown. Can we do it? Can we pull it out? Can we bust it out? Can we win? I don't know. Miner right there. Miner? Where did a miner come from, Shenya Nub? Does he fireball that? He has to. He doesn't have to. Chain stop playing around like a big old nub, you nub. Charge. Oh, almost locked and loaded there. Almost locked on. All right, she can stop messing around, please. We actually gotta win this game. We can't just be fooling around way too much because we we stopped focusing there for a bit on the game, and now we're uh, focusing on something else. Here we go, Battle Ram. Nice Ice Spirit, nice Lumberjack. Nice, nice, nice. He's playing some good D right there, guys, for sure. He's playing some good D for sure. Turbo this back. Nice. Hog's dead. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We can ignore the L-Jack there, guys. I mean, the Executioner. And go in for the three crown here. Please. Give me the three crown, please. I just want the three crown. Man, just give me the three crown. Oh, man, this sucks. We, we, why did I fool around so much, dudes? Literally, why? Why did I fool around? That sucks, man. Chain? Next time, don't do that, please. Going for the three here. Nice. I'll jack do work. Get it, L-Jack, please. Is that this, Jazz? Do work, Barbarians, please. Rage the Barbarians up. Infernal Dragon locking on there. Getting some stuff done. Oh, I'm such a nub. We're going to draw now because I just play like a big old nub, dude. There we go. Nice. A bit aggressive by him right there. We're going to try going for the three right here. See if it works. That sucks. That natal fireball sucks, dude, for sure. I'll jack right here. I'll jack go, please. I'll jack go. To the tower, please. I'll jack. Magic Archer lock on. One more damage, please. One more. Magic Archer, one more shot. One more. Fireball is actually finish him off here, boys. Oh, that was way too close. That was, that was way too close, guys. Let's all be real for a minute here. Let's all be honest for a brief moment here, guys. There's no reason that game should have went on that long, guys. Like, no reason. We had utter domination the first, like, 90% of the battle. And once we had that lead, we started fooling around. Like, I wasn't even focusing on the battle. We started fooling around, and he came back. And from there, uh, his, ex his executioner NATO fireball defenses were absolutely clutch. What a nub. Oh, man. Shane, don't fool around so much. Oh, man. I'm disappointed in myself, guys. I've disappointed myself with that battle there. Too busy focusing on fooling around, not busy focusing on uh, on winning. Ay ay ay. Alright, we're gonna go ahead, you guys, jump into one more ladder battle before going on to the replay that I was referring to earlier. And uh, hopefully we play a bit better this one. 
because that was bad. That was bad. It's been a while since I've played Bridge Bam, in case you haven't uh, been able to tell. I think it's been like, like literally a few months since I've played uh, Bridge Barbarians? Who uses Barbarians in a, oh no. Good game. GG's. I'm, I'm, I'm very comfortable saying GG right there guys, for sure. Who uses Barbarians in a, in a Lava Loon deck? Ay ay. Nice. This here. Got that. Good game. Well played. GG's. I didn't think he had Barbarians. Normally they don't have Barbs. I thought it was like the traditional like Lava Loon. Like he would have maybe like one ground defense card. Not a strong one. And then he busted out the barbs. I went like I went all in Magic Archer. I thought I was expecting like a tombstone. Or minions. Magic Archer was there for the tombstone. Shane, you big old nub. Where's your barbs? There we go. Fireball them. Get it, ghost, get it, ghost. Alrighty, so we took his tower down, but now we can't defend this lava hound here. Y'all ready to see me get uh, absolutely destroyed? Y'all ready for this? Maybe not, maybe not. We might be good. Alrighty. So something happened there. We're not dead yet. I still don't think it's going to go well, though. I still don't think so. Alrighty. Are y'all ready for this one over here on the right? It's gonna be insane. Where's your barbs? Barbell that? There we go. Barbarians connect. Get some damage done. The tower on the right will not go down, which is what we needed, and it won't happen though. Despite us needing it. Oh, but despite us needing it, it does not go down, guys. How much does that suck? Ay, 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 dude. We can't stop this balloon here. No, sir, we can't. Lava Hound here. Come on. Minor die, please. Please, minor die. This jazz. Come on, Ice Gloom tank. Much Archer do work. Oh, good game. No way, man. No way. We actually did a lot better than I thought right there, okay? We did better. We did better, guys. We did better. That was a tough one, though, for sure. Good game, well played. Well, so we're gonna go ahead here, guys, and jump into the replay that I was referring to earlier on. And this replay is oh so much more important right now. Especially after that previous loss right there against Lava Hound. Right here, we absolutely dominate this battle here, I think. I think we dominate, we do pretty well. So we're facing up against Lava Loon. Let's go ahead, change on over to camera number two, which is the new replay camera. And of course, boom, we have the new color of the background. By the way, guys, let me know for next video. We're, every video, we're gonna do a vote. What color do you wanna see in the next video? We have pink, orange, yellow, blue, green, red, and pink. Let me know which one you wanna see for the next video. So, anyways, he goes Lava Hound. We go perfect bridge bam on the right-hand side this time, which is what I wanted to happen previous game with my first push. But what ended up happening was we pushed into Barbarians and we died and we overcommitted. So. That right there is the example of what was supposed to happen versus reality. Expectation versus reality. Now, we actually do a perfect job there taking care of his balloon because the fireball by itself with four elixir counters it outright. Like, he thought he had us there because we spend a fair bit of elixir on his lava hound. Now, his tower on the right is at 143 health right here, but... Our tower on the left is at 1500, and Lava Loon does do pretty well at multi tower victory. So, we're gonna go pretty aggressive right here. We have the Magic Archer for the minions. We know he's got guards and minions in his deck, so I have the Magic Archer down there to take care of the swarm, which is what I was expecting previous battle, but he used Barbarians. Oh, I, I, I can't get over it. That battle sucked, man. We, we did pretty well, but. That first play was way too much of a of a of a aggressive play. So, 
Clutch Zack right there, taking up the pops, taking care of the guards, taking care of the mega, and in the end, barely any damage to our tower. And now we have ourselves a almost two crown elite. So he goes balloon, we go, I believe, for the three crown. Or no, we go ghost for the two crown, and then we play a bit of a D right here for the um the lava hound. I'm gonna go, I believe, zap for the minions here to protect our magic archer. Because uh, a magic archer at equal levels to uh, minions takes two shots to kill them, but one level lower is three. So we do need the help of the Zaspa right there. Now, he tries to go guards balloon here. Pretty interesting play. Uh, but the Farva once again clutching up against the balloon, doing some good work. Now we go all in here for the three crown. He's desperately trying to go take the tower down with the Lava Hound. Battle gets in there. Ghost gets in there. Ice one gets in there. Lumberjack going down. He tries desperately to defend right here. But watch what happens, guys. Lumberjack locks on, Battle Ram locks on, Zap going down right here, Farva going down. Three seconds left, and the tower goes down, and we have ourselves a three crown victory. All right, we're gonna go ahead, you guys, finish the video off with a grand challenge battle, as we always do, using the bridge spam deck, as you can see over here. That was the lamest commentary <laughs> I've ever done in my life. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, use, use the bridge spam deck. Well, of course we are, that's the video. We're already 20 minutes in. What else would we be using? You nub? <laughs> Let's go Ice Gloom over here. Cracker Jack does not want to make the opening play, so we shall. And we get a free Ice Gloom down. Nice. So Ghost versus something here. What could it be? Oh, it's going to be it. I don't know, guys. What is it going to be? What do y'all think it is? Go back to my tower, please. Oh, it's the Hog Deck. It is the Hog Deck. Nice, there we go, there we go. We ram over this business. Nice tombstone, buddy. I'll actually finish it off there. Ghost doing work, please. Yes, so this is the video I actually did a video. This is the deck I actually did a video on yesterday. If you guys remember. I actually did a video on this deck yesterday. It's currently, or it was the number one deck in the world when I recorded yesterday, being used by the number one player. Uh, if it still is or not, I have no idea. But it was. And that's what matters. So this is a kind of good test for this deck against the number one in the world. Cracker Jack Matt. My dude. What you got for me now? Hmm? Cracker Jack. Infernal D right here. What's so funny, my dude? What's so funny? Laugh it up. Laugh it up. All day long, please. Zap, zap. Did he poison that? He might. No, all right. I'm gonna farble this chest right here. I still am here? No, I still am using go down time, you nub. You nub. One of these. One of these for the ghost. Magic Archer, go down, please. Yes, there we go, there we go. All righty. Let me get some work done in this business for now. Magic Archer right here. He's got a bit of Fireball Bait in his deck, which is proving a bit of trouble for us right now. We're going to try one of these over on this side. Come on, baby. Got this. Battle on charges. We get connection to the tower there, guys. That's some good damage right there. For sure. But now we have a big old push coming right back here against us. Let's go and distract. Let's go Eldrack for the uh, Hog Riders. We're gonna go down pretty quickly. Let's get a ghost up front here. Look to the rascal girls. Then we can get battle run down to spam as well. A bit of a log there by him. Nice. Fireball, please. Battle run gets through. It sneaks through almost. Is that this, Jess? The rage bar burns. We to work, guys. The rage bar burns. Getting the damage done right there. But we did commit a decent amount of elixir to that push there, guys. For sure. Ghost here for the uh, hogs. Nice, baby. There we go, boys. Come on, Shane. You can do it for me. Please. Can't you see? Boom. Zap. Oh, a bit close, guys. A bit close again. Super close again here. I'll jack this. Go us here, please. Die, Hoggies, please. How much damage does Fireball do? 201? 
Forgot what Zash should finish the game off. Oh, thank you for the Magic Archer, sir. Thank you for the Magic Archer. 56. Oh, we're one. We're within one damage. We're within one damage there, guys. One damage. 56 for 55. Wow. So that was a uh, that was a pretty good battle. He had currently like the deck that's taking over the meta. When you go right now to the top 200 leaderboard, that deck appears so many times. It is all over the place, an absolute beast, and we beat it. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time. If you want a chance to go ahead and copy it, like I said before, it's been in the meta for a fairly long time now. And right now, it is one of the only Battle Ram at Bridge Bam decks that is still viable. And it actually is one of the most consistent decks in the game over the past couple of seasons. It has always been one of the top tier strategies. But guys, that is the end. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to Summer Clash for all content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.